Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today on Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me today is Allie. Hello. And today we have another snow globe to fix. Uh, this one was uh, featured in a recent uh, new snow globe video. This one came from the flea market. Uh, I was able to pick this one up at the flea market for $4, and Allie really likes this one. Uh, yes, I do. It's it's a, it's a it looks like an antique possibly but it's it's kind of an elaborate one but it uh, inside the globe is a sewing machine and there are four mice around the sewing machine and they've got uh, scissors and uh, buttons and, and thread and stuff then the base of the globe is actually the desk or the table that the sewing machine sits on. I really like this one. Yeah, there are drawers in the front here. You got mice coming out of the drawers. They got ribbons, uh, buttons, all the different things so here. And nothing's uh, broken off. Right, everything, everything's still there. Uh, there's some cloth, uh, an iron, some more buttons, uh, just different things that you would use for sewing and repairing clothing and stuff. Uh, and then here on the side, there's a mouse that, as the music box turns, he spins. Uh, we're having trouble with the music box, can't get it to work, but I might be able to get him to move just uh, slightly here. And uh, as soon as I find my screwdriver, okay, here we go. So we'll see if we can uh, get this thing, let's see here. There he goes. And I'm... 100% sure that that's 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton. Ali believes that the song is 9 to 5 by Dolly mm -hmm. Parton. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't tell. I don't, I'm not as familiar with the song as you. But we can't get the music box to... That's... Oh. And that I I I I, uh, I think I, I think you're right. I, I, I just heard... I don't know if... It, yeah, also, oh, and the, uh, the, the sewing machine turns in there. Uh, so this has murky water. That's turning yellow, a big air bubble. And so we're just gonna go open this up, uh, put some new water in there, some glitter, mm -hmm. and see if we can get this music box to work. I really uh, hope so, because I really like this one. Yeah, I think maybe just might need some oil. It looks like this sounds like something binding up in there, but let's go ahead and uh, let's open this up and take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Let's All right. do it. Join us. Okay, so as usual, we're going to start by removing this uh, cover off the bottom here. This looks like it's glued pretty well, so we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some uh, heat from the hair dryer to loosen up that glue a little bit, and then we'll uh, should be able to get back. Oh, hold on. I don't want you to burn your finger, baby. We gotta pull this guy off of here. Oh yeah. He has to come off uh, so that we can get the cover off. That's right. So he screws in through the side of the bass here into the music box. Almost forgot about that guy. Yeah, and he's reverse threaded, so I have to unscrew him. Okay, so there we go. So he's okay. he's off the music box now. Put him right there. Okay. So now we should be able to get this off of here. Oh, look. It's working fine now. This must, this guy must. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I think oh. th I think this is the problem here. Oh, oh yeah, this yeah, is it. Yeah, it's stuck. This is the problem. It's not. It's not moving freely. Oh no. So there's something in there holding that okay. uh, sewing machine from turning. So we're gonna have to loosen that up uh, or clean it up, and maybe it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Well, that's All right. good. Now so, you so can clearly hear the nine to five, right? Right. So, so definitely this is working now, and. Uh, okay, folks. So this. From the second that that started playing, I knew that was nine to five, and I'll tell you why. I sang that song every day on my way to work <laughs> when I had to work at the Fowler location of my job. <laughs> it was the only thing that got me there without road rage. Nice. Okay, go on, my love. I'm sorry I interrupted. No problem. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what we have here is uh, this is the uh, the mechanism. Uh, the music box mechanism has this piece on top of it that is attached to the mechanism that turns the music drum. And then this spins as the music box uh, works and it uh, matches up with this piece right here that turns the uh, sewing machine. So it looked like it was binding up 
and we're gonna to need to clean that up and make sure that's turning properly. But this seems to be working fine. That's and then really good because uh, right. that's hard to fix. <laughs> right, exactly. So that's great. And then this mouse right here uh, just attaches to the side. And I don't know why there's a mouse sticking out of the side of the base going around in circles, but it, he's there. So, so anyway, so so that's good. Well, let me so, see. Let me see. So what, that, does, hmm? what does this side look like? It just hmm. has a just has a hole in the side there. Huh. Doesn't I don't know why he's spinning around, but he is. Well, we'll see at the end what it, what it looks like, but. All right, so we got that uh, that opened up there. So now uh, there's no glue holding. Well, there's one. That's weird. There's one piece huh. of glue here that. I mean, uh, they're making it easy on us. On easier yeah. these days. There's like one dot of glue that's yeah. holding the stopper to the. That was it. Huh. That was all that was there. Okay, so. And it's also nice that there's nothing on top of the globe. Right. Exactly. <laughs> no, no ornament. You mean right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna take my needle and those pliers here. Okay, Ali, if you can hold this up like that right there. I'm gonna grab this uh, stopper here and just go around and just slowly pull it up out of the, uh, the globe. I'm gonna turn it and try to get it out even, as evenly as possible. Yeah, I'm surprised there's nothing broken off on the- No, it's in good shape. Around the base. It's in good shape. As long as we're not, oh, I got it. Watch your finger there. Okay, I think I might have it here. Oh, one more, one more. Right there. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. All right. All right, so there is the sewing machine, uh, the figurine with the mice on it. Uh, so cute. Yeah, I think once we clean this yeah. up, it should work a lot better because it's... Uh, but you can put some WD-40 on uh, it. Yeah, well, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I say that, folks, because of the door. Right. No, uh, she, she doesn't like the smell of WD-40. I've used it yeah. on music boxes before, so yes. now we use uh, three-in-one oil. It doesn't, yes. It doesn't smell as bad. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to dump out this water, get some and clean, clean water, and we're going to clean yeah. this off, uh, and we'll be right back. Yep. All right, so we uh, cleaned up the uh, figurine with a soft, very soft bristle brush and a little bit of... Uh, detergent uh, dishwashing soap and uh, everything seems to be moving uh, easily everything looks good there so it feels better uh, yes it does feel like it's moving That's easily so, so that should help the uh, music box you know, I was work worried properly that, mm -hmm. that music box was gonna be like the strawberry shortcake one yeah um, no I wasn't sure what was wrong with this thing but it yeah. was just binding up uh, so we should be fine there uh, now the globe uh, I washed it with a sponge and uh, a, 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 a handle sponge and some dishwashing soap and got that glass all clean uh, now this is a four inch globe yeah it didn't look like a cinch is it a six inch no okay. this is this is a four this is about a four four and a half inch okay so I filled the globe and we're gonna pour it into the uh, into this measuring cup to see how much is in there Okay, this is, uh, looks like three and a half cups of water is in this globe, 20, 28 ounces. So, uh, so this will have uh, approximately four cups almost of, of water in it. Uh, and we'll add one tablespoon of glue. Uh, so that'll be four tablespoons of glue, one tablespoon per cup. All right, so now we know where to go with this. Uh, we had a little confusion at one point, but a uh, four-inch globe, four cups of water. All right. I like extra um, glue in my water. Right. All right, so the first step here to put this back together now is we go ahead and fill the globe with water. So, Ali, you want to fill it? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll hold it. You fill Stand it. Stand over it because the angle I'm at is a little goofy. You have to tell me when. It's hard for me to see. Uh, that's good. Okay. okay. All right, so four cups of water. We're gonna put four tablespoons of glue in here. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, uh, plain water is an option. You don't have to put anything in the water. Uh, you can put glycerin in the water. Uh, you can use uh, baby oil or like a lot of people and us, we use uh, clear glue. Uh, it dissolves into the water. It's perfectly clear and it slows down the snow and glitter from falling so quickly. Uh, this is what we use and we have a uh, uh, an episode. We'll put a link in the description where you can show we show you all the different things you can put in the globe. So we're going to go with uh, four tablespoons of uh, glue in this for the four uh, cups of water. 
Okay, that's approximately four tablespoons of glue in there. And uh, if you notice, uh, while you're stirring it, it's gonna get uh, cloudy. And as you keep stirring it, it'll clear up and then the glue's all uh, dissolved, then you can continue. All right. All right. Now we're gonna add the glitter. And I'm not going with the original colors that were in there. Um, mm -hmm. it, I just wanted to- What colors are you going with? I am feeling girly today, so I'm going with lavender blush and iridescent white. Lavender blush and iridescent white, yeah, okay. Yeah, the lavender brush's blush is kind of a pinky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little girly, so okay. that one. All right, there's the uh, iridescent. And then we have the lavender blush, huh? Mm -hmm. Lavender blush, that's what they call it. Huh? Lavender blush. Okay, there we go. Oh, bright pink. All right, so let me stir that up and we'll see what we got here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Right. I don't, and you know, I don't want it overpowering. And that's right. sometimes that, with um, and you globes, okay? water globes, you, too much is too much. You good? Yeah. Okay, cute. we're like good. It. Okay, so now we're going to put the figurine back in. And so. the nice thing about this is we don't have to worry about orientation because exactly it spins. Exactly right. So we didn't have to mark which way the, the figurine faces since it uh, turns. So go ahead and hold that, please. Yep. All right, I'm gonna put some water around the stopper here to make it easier to uh, insert into the globe. It'll slide past that glass a little bit easier. You know how the previous glow we did, we used the blue and it gave it a blue hue? Yes. This is giving it a pink hue. Oh, okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna go around and push that stopper in all the way around evenly and get it even with the lip of the globe. Okay, that looks like it's about where it needs to be. I was gonna say that Let's side. Let's take a look, is that... Uh, looks oh, good. It looks level. Yeah. Okay, so that's all in there. That was easy. That was easy. Okay, so this now I just got to get the uh, air bubble out. Yeah, <laughs> just right got to gotta get the air bubble out of there now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we, as you can see, for those of you who haven't watched our previous videos, we're going to get that air bubble all the way to the top here and on one side. So we're going to tilt this over a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the lip of the stopper down, grab my needle nose pliers here to make a space. And then I will take the syringe. Mm hmm, doctor. Mm hmm. And I'm going to put that syringe down into the globe here. Cutest okay. doctor I ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, so here's the the air bubble right there. We're going to go ahead and just start filling that up with water, and the air bubble will just uh, work its way out. And it looks like uh, we're going to need another syringe full of water. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue working this air bubble out of here, and we'll be back. Okay. This is all dry, mm -hmm. and now we're going to take the uh, hot glue gun, and we are going to put glue between the glass and the rubber of the stopper and seal it up so it doesn't leak. Okay, so Alec, if you could hold that, please. Thank you. Oh, I can do a lot of things. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Good. Okay. Okay, we've sealed up the the, uh, the stopper. Uh, let me just double check this. Uh, it's still spinning freely. Okay. okay so when that glue uh, a bit. actually cools, yeah, we'll go ahead and put the cover on, test it out, and then uh, seal it up and finish it off. Okay. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, the uh, glue's cooled on here. Now we're gonna do a test here and make sure this works. So Ali, if you could hold on to this globe here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on there and then wind it up and see if it actually operates. Yeah, once it, if you pull it out, works fine. But once you put it down in there, and it engages with the figurine, it's having a problem. It's 
binding up. Oh wait, hold on. Let me try a little oil, maybe a little so oil. So apparently this is not turning easily enough for the music box. Oh, I can feel it right here. Now that it's in the globe, it's binding. So out of the globe, it's working fine. In the globe, it's not turning as easily. So let me try a little bit of oil. Call this, let me see if maybe a little oil will help. Put a drop of oil in there. And if not, uh, we might have to open it back up and see if we can take it apart a little bit further. Okay, so let's see if that oil there helps. So, unfortunately, it appears that the figurine is not moving smoothly enough for the music box. And it's just not able to, it's, it's actually stopping the music box from working. So we're gonna have to take this figurine, we're gonna have to take this back apart. We're gonna have to take this out. Poor guy. And uh, take another look at this uh, huh. uh, mount for the figurine to see why it's binding up. And uh, if we can get it to move smoothly, then we can uh, get this thing to work. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this back apart. Uh, we got to cut through that glue that we just put in there and take this back out and find out what's wrong with that uh, that figurine's turntable and put it back together again. And so we're going to go ahead and just do that part off camera since we've already shown the, the repair on it and uh, we'll come back once we uh, have uh, something figured out. Okay. We'll okay, back. we are back and as we said, we took the uh, figurine back out of the globe to see what's going on. And uh, so we did all this off camera and uh, Allie was not here. I took it apart and, and took a look at this. So I'm going to explain to you what I found and I'm going to explain it to Allie at the same time. Yes, please. So you're all hearing it for the first time. So anyway, uh, the mechanism seems to be moving easily for my finger or if I use a tool, you know, but if uh, the music box apparently doesn't have enough strength. I don't know if the, weak, uh, the spring is weak or if there's something wrong here, but I think this might be the problem right here because it seems to be binding up. So this is what I discovered. And let me show you right here. So this, this wheel right here with the, with the four holes that lines up with the mechanism on the music box, uh, this actually holds the entire thing together. It's, uh, it's, it's pressed into this shaft right here in the center. So uh, the, 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 the more you push this disc in, the tighter these three pieces fit together. Mm -hmm. And then, so if I take this and I pull this out like that. Right. Okay, now this uh, uh, stopper just lifts right up. Mm -hmm. And so what we have here is the, uh, is the figurine on its mount has this plastic disc uh, which matches up with this plastic disc, which has some stuff on it there to kind of keep a little bit of a separation. But as you can see, there's a bunch of gunk and glitter stuck to it. And so apparently it's not moving smoothly. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna clean this all up. So, uh, and I'm assuming that after years of sitting there and you know water leaking and who knows where it's been, uh, this is probably gunked up to the point where it's not moving smoothly and that, that's understandable. Uh, maybe put a little bit of oil in the hole here mm -hmm. and uh, right and then uh, we'll put now this right here uh, this piece right here is uh, let me find the screwdriver uh, I didn't I'm not sure what this is exactly but I think this is supposed to make a seal around the uh, shaft of the uh, figurine because the truth is uh, this is not really waterproof because that shaft which is inside the globe where the water is is going through this which is in the water and through the bottom of the uh, stopper here so the only thing stopping the water from coming out of there is this uh, let me see this should be yeah this is a okay there we go all right so that's what it is there is a rubber o-ring in here and this rubber o-ring when you tighten this plate down on the o-ring this squeezes against the shaft to keep the water from leaking out. This might have been too tight as well. 
So we'll have to make sure we'll reassemble this after it's all cleaned up that we don't have anything too tight so it's not binding. All right. So we're going to use some mild dish soap uh, and maybe a, a soft brush or something. Just make sure these surfaces that match up are clean and then we'll come back. Okay, we are back and this is all cleaned up now. Uh, Allie and I, we cleaned uh, both these surfaces up with some soap and water and uh, a mild uh, brush, a little, uh, excuse me, a soft bristle brush. Uh, I took everything off of there. When I put the two pieces together, uh, right there, it seems to, I don't feel any resistance minimal so hopefully that's part of the problem but i think the other part of the problem is right here uh with the sealing mechanism because as i said the shaft goes through the uh through the stopper here so they have this uh let me see if i can so uh hopefully you can see that uh this is a uh, rubber o-ring uh soft rubber it's got a groove in it uh this fits into here and then that plate right here will uh, fit over it and put pressure on it so that it seals against the uh, the shaft of the figurine. So the mm. first thing I'm going to do, nice Ellie, nice. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I am going to take some three in one oil because I think part of the problem is going to be how much pressure this rubber seal is putting on the shaft that's going through there. The music box can only apply so much pressure. So I'm going to put one drop of oil right on the opening there of right there. Okay. Now I am going to take this ceiling ring right here. I'm going to drop it in there. Okay. So the ring, okay, there we go. The ring's in there. Now I'm gonna put one more drop of oil on the top of the ring to make sure it, uh, not only will that help seal it, but that'll also help uh, uh, the shaft to spin easily. All right, so now I'm gonna take this uh, plate here. And I don't need the plate. <laughs> These are the only ones we have, so I can't lose these. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, and my big fingers are having trouble holding. So, all right, so this plate goes down. My fingers are smaller if you need help. Uh, you know what? I didn't think about that, but you could have gotten it for me. That's 100% true. Okay, so it looks like it went down this way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Put that plate right there. And then we have these two tiny, tiny that. screws. Yeah, can you get those screws for me? Yeah, we have to. Yeah, now, now that you mentioned that you have smaller hands, can you? Can you get a screw into the... Yeah. Yes, there we go. Like you want it. Yeah, I don't want to put uh, any more pressure than necessary, so I'm going to run the screw back a little bit. And you know what? Can you hold the light for yeah. me? Let me just make sure I'm going to go ahead and just turn the screw until it makes contact with the metal and then just a little bit of a turn just to give it some pressure. Okay, this one as well. Let's see here. Okay, I'll bring it up to the plate. And then when it stops, I'll give it just a little turn. Okay, there we go. All right, so looks like our sealing uh, mechanism here is all put together now. We got some oil, not too tight. And we're going to go ahead and put the shaft of the figurine through there. And let's see if it's still... Yeah, that seems, to be, that seems to be moving pretty easily. Okay, so the last step here is to get this wheel back on and like I said this is holding the entire thing together so I'm gonna press that back in there but I'm not gonna push it so hard that it uh, binds up the figurine and the uh, the plate that it's sliding on let's see if I can get it in there I got it in there let's see here and there we go okay so now so now I feel it binding a little bit hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this wheel out just a little bit. Take a little pressure off. Let's see. That's a big difference right there. Oh, wow. See, I'll mm -hmm. show you. I'm yeah. going to push it all the way back in so you can see what I'm talking about. Now go ahead and, and try to turn that. Uh, to go ahead and take both sides. Turn it. See that? Yeah, I do feel the, the resistance. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to back that wheel out just a little bit. I mean, just a hair, not 
and then notice the difference. Huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah, it really so is. So I think that's what's going to make the difference okay. here. So now uh, let's test it out and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Come on, Dolly. Let's see. Hey. Ah. It's working. It is. It's working. Hey. hey. All right. And this is exciting because this is the first time we've ever done this before. So we have never broken down a movable figurine before. They've always worked fine. This is the first one that we've had that didn't work. And so uh, it was interesting to see how this is constructed and the fact that we were actually able to, you know, take this apart, fix it and put it back together again. So uh, we learned something doing this. Uh, so this is interesting. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, put it back in the globe and uh, make sure it's going to work. All right. All right. So let's get that globe over here. Move this here. Okay. And nice. I am going to, since we lost a little bit of water, where's the water yeah. jug? It's right it's here someplace. Here. It's right, okay. Let's put a little more water in here. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, pour a little more water in there. Okay. So, uh, could, you, could you hold the globe, please? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Once again, I'm going to take a little bit of water here and just put it on the stopper here because the stopper is dry and this will make it uh, easier to insert into the globe and let's see how this works out okay so I'm just putting it straight down okay so let's tilt it just a little bit we're going to tilt it so we get that air bubble up here and I am going to try okay can you hold that I'm going to try to get as much as that air bubble out as possible while I'm pushing the stopper in and, and another one and that we didn't have to um, mark the orientation, right. so that's cool. Exactly. So we didn't have to mark what was the front or back because there is no front or back. Okay, so let's see how that looks. All right, first of all, okay, so that I looks love good. This one. All that right. Looks good. Now before we go any further, any further. yes. Before we go any further with this thing, let's make sure yes. it's going to work. Yeah. Once it's installed in the globe. Yeah. It didn't catch it. Let's see here. Yeah. You know what it is? What's that? I think the globe is too far, in. too far in, ah, and it's not okay. catching. So we need to pull that stopper out a little bit. Okay. Now let's see if it works. Now that we've lowered it a little bit. Okay. Look at you. That made the difference right there. The uh, the stopper was too far into the uh, globe and uh, the mechanism on top of the music box uh, couldn't catch the spindle. So, but yeah, whatever we did fixed it. So now... Yeah, he fixed my globe! <laughs> I love this globe. All right, okay. so the, draw, the, cool, the uh, glue has cooled, holding the stopper uh, or sealing the stopper to the globe. We did a test fit to make sure that uh, now that the uh, glue is cooled, that the mechanism still works and it works fine. And this also has a piece on the side right here. There is this uh, ornament that comes out of the side of the base. Love that, that he, little guy. Yeah, and he twirls and he's attached to this piece right here on the uh, music barrel. So we needed to line this up properly so that the uh, hole right here and this shaft lined up so that we can install him. So you gotta we, make sure the hole in the shaft line up. Yes, exactly. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So uh, you, these, we put two dots here, one on the uh, uh, base and one on the cover where they line up. And so we're gonna go ahead and take three drops of glue. And he's gonna do the twirly thing for me. I will, hold on, there's two, and then there's number three right there, and there's a twirly thing. Yeah. There we go. And we only use three drops of glue because you don't need more than that. Yeah. All right, so, uh, okay, there's the dot right there, which lines up with the shaft, and I'm gonna put that part of the 
cover right there and I'm going to make sure it lines up with the with the snow globe come on there we go okay uh, uh, uh. it's uh, it, it, come it, on, it, snow yeah globe. those little um, yeah. those little yeah. uh, forks in the mechanism have to line up with that thing so let's make before the glue dries make sure it's working yeah okay come on it's a little it's it's probably not perfect yeah i did notice that can i what that the um that the two dots that we made uh -huh. they were overlap overlapping each other um right there i don't know i couldn't see from the angle i was at um That's how it was, but I, I noticed it was up and over. Maybe that was why it wasn't catching. Let's see. Oh, I think okay. we, got, we got it that time. So. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. It's still an issue. It's like when it's pressed down. So, uh... It turns out this has to be also positioned just right for it to work because of the way the, the, the mechanism is, is. So we've got it positioned just right here. We've got the shaft pointing to that opening. We're just waiting for this to stop. And uh, we're gonna go ahead. You know what we can do? We'll go ahead and put two drops here. I'll hold it, put a couple of drops over there. Just make sure this doesn't move. And then, uh, okay, so here we go. I'll put, uh, okay. yeah, I'm gonna put in each corner of the, of the, because otherwise we may never get it right. Exactly. But That's if we figure out how to do it, we'll, we'll, we, can just, we can just remove this glue and, uh, okay, put a drop there. And put some. I got it if you want to let go. I'm trying to make sure it does not move. So let's make sure it's still working. Mm -hmm. Yep, still working. So we're going to hold this here until the glue dries or, or cools mm -hmm. and holds it in place. And then we'll come back. snow globe is finished all reassembled and complete and there it is uh, clean water uh, new glitter uh, air bubble gun uh, everything's working now even the spinner and as you saw earlier we uh, took apart the uh, base of the figurine or excuse me, not the base but the uh, the mount and the uh, and the stopper and fixed that up and got that working um, so let's go ahead and uh, shake it up and uh, you know what? First of all, let's go ahead and turn the music box on. When, when we first started working on this, we thought this is gonna be super easy. Yeah. So now I'm gonna shake it up and you can see it. I love this one. And it's working. And you can see for some reason, there is a mouse coming out of the side of the base <laughs> twirling. Oh, that little guy. I'm not sure exactly why he's there, and that's really a dangerous spot for this <laughs> little <laughs> ornament there. That's I just going to be pulled off or snapped off, but he's still there, so it's... I am honestly surprised that nothing is broken off on this thing. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's all in good shape, and, and check it out. Uh, the figurine is turning on its own with no issues, so uh, between cleaning up the... the uh, the actual uh, mount for the figurine and the twirling uh, assembly and uh, putting a little oil and not tightening down that uh, grommet too much. I think we've got uh, something that's working here. So yeah. uh, this is, uh, uh, Ali says this is another one of her favorites now <laughs> for several reasons because of the uh, old timey sewing machine and the mice and of course the song that it's playing. Yeah. 
Dolly Parton's nine to five, baby. I think I can hear it. I didn't yeah. hear it before, but I think I hear it now. All right, well, hey. So uh, there we go. That is the um, mouse sewing machine uh, snow globe. Uh, we got it all fixed and yeah. saved it from the uh, garbage. As I said, this is one I found at the flea market for $4. And uh, awesome. Allie, Allie loves this. Love so it, it was uh, well worth the $4. Love and uh, so we hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we learned something on this video yeah. doing that uh, that mount, that, that's, uh, that turning mechanism. So that was something new for us. And hopefully maybe you learned something as well and enjoyed the, watching us fix this. So. Uh, join us for the next video. There are going to be some links coming up to some of our other videos, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.